Having observed the impressive sales performance of their UR416 series of vehicles, Tyson Henschel successfully developed a prototype of their Condor APC in 1978. Following the ur 416 strategy of utilizing commercial components whenever feasible, the Condor adopts the engine and drivetrain from an Unimog all-terrain truck. The initial order for 459 units from Malaysia was announced in late 1981, marking the beginning of continuous production, resulting in over 600 vehicles manufactured by mid-1994. Compared to the earlier UR416, the Condor boasts a significantly larger and heavier build, presenting a more formidable appearance. It boasts full amphibious capability, propelled in water by a steerable propeller beneath the hull. Enhanced ballistic protection and increased internal space accommodate either up to 12 troops or ample supplies. The internal configuration has been revamped, positioning the driver near the engine at the front right side of the hull, while the vehicle commander sits behind, with access to a roof hatch leading to a weapon station, optionally shielded by a small turret. Various optional weapon mounts are available, including a 20mm cannon paired with a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, with provisions for troops to engage through weapon ports in the upper hull sides. Some APCs produced under the Malaysian contract feature a one-man turret equipped with a 20mm cannon. An armored personnel carrier version is also available, outfitted with two turret-mounted 7.62mm machine guns. Additional models produced for the same order include command vehicles, an ambulance, and a fitter's vehicle equipped with a light crane. Proposed Condor variants encompass ATGW carriers and models featuring diverse weapon turret configurations. Optional features across all models include air conditioning, a collective NVC system, intercom, night vision systems, and a recovery winch. Beyond the vehicles supplied to Malaysia, Condor sales have extended to Indonesia, Portugal, Turkey, Uruguay, and other undisclosed destinations.